Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Mimi G here. So I wanted to do this series about some of the most frequently asked questions um, that we get from people interested in joining Sewit Academy. Um, and so it brought me to sort of this idea of creating a couple of videos that I will uh, put on my IG over the next couple days, um, probably into the next week or two, um, where I'm just sort of going over things that if you are interested in learning to sew or new to sewing could be really, really helpful. So uh, for those of you who may not know me or if you come across this video on Instagram or YouTube or wherever I put it and you're not familiar with me, my name is Mimi G. Um, I'm the founder of MimiGStyle.com, which is a DIY and fashion blog. Um, I'm also the founder of Sew It Academy, which is an online sewing and fashion design school where everything is done online with complete step-by-step -step videos where you need absolutely no experience whatsoever to get started. Um, I'm also the founder, uh, co-founder of Melanated Fabrics, which is an online fabric store that um, I founded with my partner, Brittany J. Jones, who is another amazing DIY uh, blogger and influencer. Um, so that's just a little bit about me. <laughs> um, so Academy for me is like my baby. That's like my passion project because I started Sewit Academy uh, because I got frustrated of seeing so many YouTube videos that I think were causing, that I thought were causing uh, probably more confusion <laughs> than helping. YouTube is great. I learn all kind of shit on YouTube. Um, <laughs> and I do a lot of free videos on YouTube, but I do the videos assuming that you know a certain level or a certain amount of knowledge about sewing, right? So if, you're, if you know nothing about sewing, and you go on YouTube and you try to make something, you could get really frustrated. So I started Sewing Academy because I wanted a place where people could learn to sew and you would learn everything that you learn in fashion design school, but that you could do it for less than $12 a month, that you could do it from your home, that you can start and stop whenever you wanted, that there was no commitment, right? <laughs> if you didn't like it, you could cancel and move on. No problem. Um, and that was easy to understand. Uh, so everything is taught in layman's terms, not a whole lot of like hard, difficult technology, uh, terminology that you're not going to understand. Um, and it's fun. It's about fashion and project. We start off with, you know, uh, items that are not, you know, clothing just to get you used to the machine and things like that. But really this is about creating clothing. Uh, we cover sewing start to finish, right? So like the very first course is like, this is a sewing machine. Um, so in case you've never seen one or you don't know how to work one, we show you everything. Um, and then the other thing is, you know, we do, we have courses on uh, fashion illustrating, sketching, pattern making, uh, we do menswear, we do women's wear. There's so many different things uh, that we do and it sort of grows, um, you know, as your knowledge grows, right? You start off at the very beginning, but then, you know, six months in, a year in, you're making like your own pants, your own shirts, your own coats, your own jackets. Um, so it's pretty incredible. Now, the reason I'm doing this is because there's a lot of information that you probably want to know before you even decide that you want to learn to sew, whether it's with me in Sew It Academy or somewhere else, um, really doesn't matter. I just think that you should know, like there's a lot of things that you should uh, know before you get started. Things like what's in your sewing basic uh, kit? What sewing machine should I buy? Um, you know, what? Are, let me go through some of the things I'm going to cover. So the series is like, you know, what you need to know before you start. I'm going to cover all, you know, sorts of things that you should probably know before you take the leap. I'm also going to cover, I wrote it all down so I don't forget, um, what your basic toolkit looks like. What do you need to get started, right? Um, also, I'm going to go over my top six sewing machines that I think are great for beginners. Um, they start off as low as $150 up to like $400 um, and they all have very uh, different sort of a basic fun functions that I think are necessary. So I'm going to go through some of that. Um, then I'm also going to talk about things that are not on pattern envelopes, which I think is really important because I think a lot of people assume that they buy a pattern and that that pattern is going to teach you to sew. And that's not the case. And there are so many other things that are not in a pattern envelope <laughs> that um, I think is really helpful to know. And then the uh, last thing is just really the truth about sewing, like what you can really expect, what it's really going to take, how much time does it really take? Is it cost effective? Is it expensive? Um, is it hard? Is it easy? There's so many different things. Are you too young? Are you too old? Or 
all kinds of things, especially misconceptions about sewing that I think are important to cover. Um, so I hope you join me. I'm going to do probably two or three videos uh, during the week that I'll be putting on my IGTV and then I will later share on YouTube. Um, so, you know, if you have any questions or anything else you want me to talk about, feel free to leave it in the comments. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoy this series because I'm going to have a whole lot of fun doing it. All right, guys. Thanks for watching.